In this video, I explain the key differences between the Oral-B Smart 1500 and the Sonicare Protective Clean 4100, as well as give you my recommendation on which brush to choose. Hi, it's John here from Electric Teeth. We assist you in selecting the right dental care products and understanding common dental health care topics. Just before I give you my recommendation, I want you to know that as not, or if not more important than the toothbrush itself, is how long and how often you brush for, as well as your toothbrushing technique. Linked in the top right corner is our guide to taking care of your teeth. It includes all of the important things that you need to know. And if you want to make your oral care routine more sustainable, there's a link in the description for that too. Okay, to my verdict and overall recommendation on which brush to pick. And for me, that's the Oral-B Smart 1500. Now make no mistake about it, both of these are excellent electric toothbrushes and are essentially best in class from their respective brands. These are the toothbrushes suitable for most users like you and I. They do an excellent job of cleaning the teeth and picking between these two is really quite difficult. However, the 1500 just takes the edge in my opinion because of the cleaning technology, pressure sensor and additional cleaning mode. I will now run through the key differences between these two electric toothbrushes. I want you to know there's a full written comparison that accompanies this video. Click the link in the top right corner or video description to view that. So let's start with what is probably the most significant difference between these two brushes and that is the cleaning action. The Oral-B Smart 1500 has a 3D oscillating, rotating and pulsating cleaning action compared to the Sonic cleaning action of the Sonicare Protective Clean 4100. Basically what that means is the Oral-B brush head is a small round brush head that moves in more of a circular motion than the side to side sweeping motion of the Sonicare electric toothbrush. There is a lot of debate about which cleaning action is best and there are arguments for and against each but overall it would appear the evidence sides slightly with Oral-B in their cleaning action. To another difference between these two brushes then, and that's the handle design. Whilst both of these have a fairly typical electric toothbrush design to them, there are some subtle differences in the way that the handles actually look and feel in hand. The Smart 1500 has a rounded rubber grip around the power button. Whereas the Protective Clean 4100 doesn't have any of these raised or rubber grips on the brush handle. On the back of the Smart 1500 is a dimpled texture that runs the length of the brush handle. You don't have this on the Protective Clean 4100, it's completely smooth to the touch. I do believe the dimpled texture does help uh, create a little bit more grip on the brush handle compared to the Protective Clean 4100, but there isn't a big difference between the two if I'm honest. The Smart 1500 is available in four colour options, white, navy, light rose and jet black, whereas the 4100 is available in two colour options, black and white and white and mint. So then to the cleaning modes, the Protective Clean has just one cleaning mode compared to the three of the Smart 1500. It's just a standard clean mode on the Protective Clean 4100, whereas the 1500 has a daily clean mode, a sensitive mode and a whitening mode. Now additional cleaning modes are not absolutely essential but if you're going to have any additional cleaning mode my recommendation would be to have sensitive and the Smart 1500 has that built in. Both of these toothbrushes come with one brush head included in the box. It's the Sonicare brush head that is slightly larger due to the brushing technology of these toothbrushes. You get one C2 optimal plaque control brush head with the 4100 and one small round cross action brush head with the Smart 1500. Both of these electric toothbrushes have pressure sensors built in but they work slightly differently. With the Smart 1500 you have a visible pressure sensor. It's a 360 degree sensor that runs around the top of the brush handle so when the sensor is activated it lights up red. Now whilst the 4100 does have a pressure sensor rather than lighting up uh, any icons on the handle red. Instead what it does is changing the vibration pattern that runs through the handle to alert you instead. So they do the same job but they uh, implement their pressure sensors slightly differently. Both of these electric toothbrushes have a built-in rechargeable battery. They're a lithium iron battery and are suggested to last around about two weeks. However the 4100 outperforms the 1500 by quite some margin. You can typically expect up to around five weeks with the Protective Clean compared to the two weeks with the 1500. 
There's also some additional technology built into the 4100 called brush sync technology. In summary, what this does is track how long and how often the brush head is actually used for. And when it detects that the brush head has been used for the recommended period of time, which is three months, it will alert you via an LED on the front of the brush handle that it's time to change. Basically, it's another stimulus to make sure that you're doing the best you can in improving and maintaining your oral health because you can wear out a brush head and it's important to change it regularly. So the 4100 is helping with you there. You don't get such technology on the Smart 1500 from Oral B. Both toothbrushes come with a charging stand included in the box. The difference here, however, is the Sonic Air stand has support for global voltage, so it supports voltages from 100 to 240 volts, compared to the 110 to 130 of the Oral B charging stand. What this means is that it's a little bit more convenient if you need to travel with the Protective Cleans charging stand. Some more subtle differences between these two brushes is that the Protective Clean is much quieter than the noisier Smart 1500. The Protective Clean will automatically turn itself off at the end of a two minute cleaning cycle, whereas the Smart 1500 continues to power on. And the 4100 also has an easy start feature, which gradually increases the power of the brush motor during uh, the first 14 brushing sessions to ease you into using a more powerful electric toothbrush. And last but by no means least, the price is another difference between these two brushes. The 4100 has a recommended retail price of $69.99 compared to the $79.99 of the Smart 1500. Based on the typical purchase price and the cost of replacement brush heads over a three year period, the 4100 does work out as the more cost effective brush overall, but there's not a great deal of difference in it. So that summarizes the key differences between the Oral-B Smart 1500 and the Sonicare Protective Clean 4100. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you found this video useful in helping you select your next electric toothbrush. For more videos like this, do click subscribe and click here to get tips and tricks on how to improve your oral health.